So, I'm Stephanie, and I'm going to be part of this channel called Steph and Jess. Um, Jessica is my best friend, and you'll be seeing her later this week. But right now, it's my time to shine. So, I'm going to be doing my top 10 random facts about me, just so you know, y'all can learn about me. We can become friends, we can create a bond, and just, you know, have that. So, first of all, I'm an obsessive person. Like, it's bad. I'm always made fun of for it. But, you know, I'm gonna live my life. I'm gonna let people live their lives. And they gonna deal with it. Um, so I obsess over things. A lot of things. But, you know, that's good. I, I think it just shows how much I can, like, love something. Some, I, I don't think I've ever obsessed over some... Well, yeah, technically I've obsessed over someone. But, you know, it just shows how much passion and heart I can put into something, so I don't think people should hate on that. So if you're obsessive, tell the haters to go away. Like a I love music. Number two. Music is like a gateway into the soul and all that cheesy stuff that you hear. Yeah, well, I believe it too. Music is the thing that soothes me, it gets me excited, it makes me happy. When I'm sad, it helps me to feel even sadder, but you know, sometimes when you're sad, you just want to be sad and cry. Music can do that. Music can do anything. It's like magic, honestly. It's the closest you're going to get to magic. I love my family. They're all amazing people. I'm, I'm incredibly blessed. A lot of people sometimes have struggles with their family like this aunt doesn't like me or that grandmother is so judgmental of me or there's always like that one person in your family that just can't get along and I'm incredibly blessed to have a family full of people who love me and support me and are there for me when I need them and I would be there for them too it's just a really great bond and connection and I couldn't imagine my life without my family I've got an older sister and an older brother and then a younger brother and both my parents are still married. Again, thankful for that, because that's not very common these days. And I'm just happy that I get that opportunity in life, I guess. I don't know. I like photography. For my graduation present, I got this camera that I'm using right now, Canon Rebel T5. Um, it's probably not the best camera in the world, but it's what I could get with my money, and it's really good, and it's been a lot of fun. Like, I took it to my sister's college with her, and I went, and we were taking vid videos and photos, and I found this crawdad that looked like a miniature lobster. Um, I'm going to try and insert the video here. This is Larry the lobster. He's a friend we just made. We don't know how he's here because he's in a parking lot, but you know, Larry the Lobster likes to work out here. Just chilling on the grass. What are you doing with your life? Steph, I love singing and I like recording and I don't know, it's just a lot of fun. I really like the idea of maybe being a famous singer one day. I love singing. Um, I already said that, I know, but I don't know how else to say it. I just love the idea of, like, expressing my emotions that way. Like I was saying before about music, it's kind of magical in how it can change how you feel about things or people or situations in life. And I like the, I'd, like, I like the idea of being somebody who can do that for people. You know, if somebody's having a bad time, then I can give them a song that can, you know, help them cheer up and be happy again. Or if you're absolutely in love and I can write a song that make you help to like make you feel good and happy about that or if you've just been cheated on and you want to hate somebody then you know just like Taylor Swift you know write a write a song about hating the guy I mean Taylor Swift is great a lot of people hate on her for having the same kind of song all the time and what I see that but I also see it as or, just a way that she can express herself and honestly those are the strongest feelings is love and hate so I also enjoy reading I like reading normal books and I enjoy fanfics I mean I'm one of those girls I'm a fangirl I'm weird but maybe that'll be good maybe that's why I can be friends with people on the internet 
we're gonna find out. Um, so yeah, I love reading, I love the idea of getting into a story and like putting yourself into a completely different world that maybe you'll never be able to be in or putting you in a different place if you're having a hard time in your own life going into somebody else's life in a fictional story or sometimes even you can get like nonfiction and have it be a real person that you can try and understand what their life was like. I like the idea of being able to do that because I think it's just really cool and I think that reading is a lot different than watching a movie because watching a movie you can get involved too but only so much because everything's just happening for you. You aren't doing any of the work, you're just sitting there watching it. And not to hate on people who love movies, like I love movies too, they're great. But I just think reading, you can immerse yourself more in the story. You're the one imagining the characters and how each one of the words sounds even like, like Tobias in, in Divergent. I always thought his name was Tobias. <laughs> a lot of people did, I think. But it's actually Tobias, which, you know, in the movie you never had to think about that. But as you're reading, you're kind of creating it as your own story. And I think that that's really, really cool. You get to design whatever's going on and, like, the setting. And it's just, it's just cool. So I love reading. Fanfics are my, are my struggle sometimes. I mean, we all know, like, there's that one book. And then when that, when something intense happens and you're just like, oh my god, oh my god, no! And then you're just fangirling over it. It happens to everybody. Like, that's how you know you're into a really, really good book. When it gets you to react that way and gets you so into it that you're like screaming into a pillow, then that's when it's a good book. At least in my opinion. I love those kind of books. The ones that get you so excited about it. I love beauty and all that, like, I'm no beauty guru, obviously, my hair's not perfect today, but I like the idea of dressing yourself up, I think it's fun, and I'm not perfect at makeup or hair or anything, but it's just cool to, like, dress yourself up and you see a completely different version of yourself that sometimes you think is prettier than your natural self, which, natural self is beautiful, don't ever change that too much, that's where beauty comes from, but... It's, it's just fun to dress yourself up and do what you want. Okay, so most of you have seen parades, right? You know, there's a marching band going down and then you see like all the kids wearing the uniforms and you see the group behind them twirling the flags. Ugh, twirling. I can't believe I said that. I'm one of those people. I'm part of a color, well, used to be part of a color guard teardrop. I just graduated. That makes me sad. But, um, I was one of the captains of the color guard at my high school and I absolutely loved it. It's a lot of dance and flag work and sabers and rifles, all the weapons. And it's a lot of fun. Like, if you- Rifles hurt. Rifles do hurt. They're I already have a bruise. What? Only one? Wow, congratulations. I have like three! I have like one on a wrist and then like, I have one on my thigh. I don't even know how it got there. Rifles are abusive because it's just a hunk of wood that you like spin around. If you have a dirty mind. <laughs> that was probably funny. So I'm glad I made you laugh then. Um, so color guard's a lot of fun. I love dancing too. I love using the flags. I love all of it. If you have friends at school who are in color guard or... If you have like one chick in your class who's in it, like talk to her about it. Color Guard's fun. I, I, f I like highly encourage you to join because you make a lot of memories and have a lot of fun. And you meet a lot of good people and make a lot of good friends because that's where I made all of my friends. And in the band at my high school, because it's guard, band, and drumline. And when I consider it all as one, I just call it band because the definition of a band is a group working together towards one common goal. So I figured guard is part of that, so is drumline, so is the mu so are the musicians and bands. So I figure we're all one group band. And that's where all my friends came from in a high school. Like if you weren't in band, I was like, I'm sorry, I do not know who you are. I do not mean to be mean, but I live in the band room. And if you're a band kid and you understand that, then soul sister, brother, whatever, you know. We're on the same level there. I love bands. My high school wouldn't my high school years wouldn't have been the same without it, so it means a lot. Next 
I love Disney. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Like, it's been my family's main focus. Like, since I was born, I was at Disneyland when I was 11 months old and giggling on Pirates of the Caribbean. Like, I've always loved Disney. As you can probably see by my assortment, Dumbo is one of my favorite characters. Love him. And then I've got princesses all around my room and it's wonderful and I love it because it just brings you happiness and Disneyland's the happiest place on earth and if you say otherwise I don't care about your opinion because it makes me happy. So Disney, yeah. Greatness. This is my fight.